Welcome to part 4 of our Pro V2 user tutorial series. In this video we're going to dissect the different levels of activation of the layered defense process. The first thing I'm going to do is install a practice canister into the unit. Install the battery. Hear the click. I'm going to power my unit on. Now being properly paired with Bluetooth, everything here should be fine and I'll see my Bluetooth indicator light up solid uh, once it's through its boot up process. So you see that? You see the lights on the battery here? Those will shut off in about 8 seconds. And now the unit is ready to go. So for a level 1 activation, there are three things that are going to happen. One, the laser spotter will activate. Two, the imager or the camera will activate as well and it's going to start taking pictures between one and three pictures per second of the incident sort of out in front of me. And then the third thing that's going to happen is that the audio will start recording onto the device and that's being captured by the mic. So it's capturing my words and it's capturing the other person's words. To activate level one, I simply flip up the ambidextrous arming switch. I can do it with the thumb, I can do it with the hand, either side. But what you see is the lasers activated. You also see the illuminated sights light up. You see the arming ring light up. The Bluetooth indicator is showing solid because I'm properly paired. And what it's doing right now is it's capturing photos of anything that's right out here in front of the device. About a 20 degree field of view. And it's also capturing everything that I'm saying right now. But this is a level one activation and we do not recommend that you put the laser pointer in someone's eyes for a continuous amount of time. You do not point it at an aircraft, you do not point it at a law enforcement officer. Now, when we go to level two, a couple things have to happen. First of all, we have to be in a level one activation, which is power on, arming switch on. Then all we do is a half trigger pull. Now I'll do it very briefly just so you can hear it. It's likely that the siren will overwhelm the microphone on here, but then you'll be able to also see the strobe light in front of the unit. So here we go. Alright, now what I did is I disarmed that by flipping the arming switch back down. If you let it run, it's going to run for about 25 seconds, which is a long time. The strobe is meant to sort of disorient somebody, and it's especially effective at night because it affects night vision. The siren is, is really meant to sort of instigate that flight response because it is startling to hear it all of a sudden. The other thing that happens in the background at a level 2 activation is that the Bluetooth engages. So when we properly paired our device, now that device is talking to my cell phone. And so if I were to look at my cell phone right now, it probably just tried to make a call out to the pre-programmed number that I set up in the utility software. Now, caveat to that is that that automatically happens at level 2, but I do have the ability at a level 1 activation to manually make that call by pushing this call button. The difference is the 15 second pre-recorded message will not play if I manually activate the call. It will play if I go to a level 2 response and it automatically makes the call out. So that's a good thing to know. Now, when we go to a level 3 response, level 2 is also going to be activated. So when the OC gets deployed, the light, the siren, the laser, the recording, all of that stuff is still going on if you have it all enabled. Now I installed a practice canister in here so what I'll do is I'll show you the manual way to deploy OC without power. That's an added safety feature that's on this device because right now I could fully pull this trigger and I would activate all three levels at once but OC by itself can still be activated if I power the unit off, but still have it armed, watch what happens. You can see that the OC still comes out. Now remember, I have a practice canister, so this isn't live OC. But that's an added safety feature for the user in case you deploy this device but forget to have it powered on. Now if I had it powered on, I'd have all the lights and the sounds. But in this case, with no power, it's not recording, it's not flashing, it's not sounding. I don't have a laser spotter to aim with, so I'd have to rely on the manual sights to do it. But that's just a neat feature that's added in there. You have to make sure that you're armed, though. If you're not armed, that trigger is not going to pull, so remember that.